Alright guys, what's up? Today we're going to do a mixing tutorial in FL Studio. Um, most people think that you can't really use FL Studio to mix well and that you need like Pro Tools or something, but I'm here to bust that theory and I'll show you what the end result's going to sound like right now. Oh, oh, oh. Stuck out on these streets again, I roam and I'm kicking rocks on my walk back home. All right, so basically I have this vocal. It's a raw vocal with the beat. Uh, it's a vocal from an artist I work with named Jay London. I'll link his song, this song specifically. It's called SOL in the description. And this is what the raw vocal sounds like above the beat. Stuck out on these streets again. I roam and I'm kicking rocks on my walk back home. And I told you. All right. So you can tell there's no effects, there's no nothing on it. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to put this into a mixer bus. I'm just going to put this in one. So I'm going to provide a mixer bus preset. It's a .fst file for um, FL Studio in the description. It's going to be a download link. And what you want to do to install it, you right click file. And because this is FL Studio 20, I think it's in FL Studio 12 as well, but um, you click open mixer tra track state and uh, file explorer should open up. Now what you want to do is you want to get the download link. It'll most likely be in a zip file and you want to extract it here or you want to just drag it in here and it will install. And the what it's going to be called is going to be called main vocal bus. You want to open that. And the only plugin, it's all stock plugins, so the only plugin you'll really need is OTT. And if you want to add auto tune, you can add auto tune. I left a slot one open for it. Uh, you mainly want to put your auto tune into slot one. Uh, just that's just good practice. And OTT is a free plugin. I'll link that in the description as well. It's basically a compressor, multi band compressor. So yeah, the only thing you'll really need is OTT. And with it all on there, this is what it's gonna sound like. Stuck out on these streets again. I roam and I'm kicking. As you can tell, the uh, reverb is way too much, and it's actually at a decent, you know, uh, level, but it kind of muddies out the vocal. So I added a Fruity P controller, which what you do is you take this, and let me actually attach this. And so what you do is you have these settings right here. It's already loaded up. And you go to your reverb, you edit the reverb to however you want. This is just the settings that I like, and I just uh, edit the um, the wetness over here, the wetness knob. So what you do is you right-click wet, you click link to controller, which is going to link it to this one, but it's not linked yet. So right here under internal controller, you it says none. You want to click on under main vocals, you can see right here, you want to click peak. And then what you want to do is right here where it says input, this drop down menu you select inverted so basically what that's gonna do is every time the vocals playing the reverbs not gonna be prominent but as soon as the vocals stop there's reverb basically and you want to click accept and this is what it's gonna sound like Stuck out on these streets again. I roam and I'm kicking rocks on my walk back home and I told you everything I know Whoa, oh, oh. As you can tell, it's a lot clearer, it's a lot better. Now you can just edit the reverb. I'm gonna turn it down about halfway. And Maximus, uh, this is a de -esser. So basically, let me explain what these do. So this Fruity Parametric EQ, it cuts the lows and kind of steps up towards the, the main, like, you know, where the mo most frequencies are. And uh, the limiter, this is the compressor, the main compressor. Uh, Fruity limiter is a really underrated compressor. So the ratio is at 20, 20 to 1. The knee is just like nothing. 
and the threshold is what you want to edit so we'll I'll show you how to edit this threshold so I'm gonna turn it like basically all the way up so it's not really compressing it and I'm gonna turn this down so I can talk while uh, it's going I'll actually mute the the beat so so you guys see where these low points are right here what you want to do is you want to get the threshold this little line right here this blue line to be around the low points of the vocals so basically that's what, what that's going to do is it's going to compress it you can see it here what it's compressing so when i play it again you'll see these little dips right here So basically what this compressor does is make sure that everything's in the same loudness. Uh, there's another compressor that we use to flatten out the vocals a little bit. But this mainly just, you know, is the main compressor. So OTT, this gives it a more of a modern feel. So I'll play without it and with it. And this is with it. As you can tell, it's a little bit, you know, more prominent. It cuts through the mix a little bit better um, when you actually have a beat playing. And what you want to do is you just don't want to really touch anything. Uh, the depth, you want to have it at about 30%. So this preset has basically everything already set to what it needs to be set at. Um, so you don't really have to edit anything. You might just have to adjust the the original compressor limiter and the second limiter which is another compressor so the second compressor you really want to like train your ear to um, it's another limiter but what we do is instead of going to the compressor these envelope settings are basically just stock and what we want to do is adjust the ceiling so what it does is it flattens out the vocal so if I leave it you know it's high ceiling you see these lines they're all you know just random now now if I have it at really low it really compresses the vocal like a lot and it basically makes it quiet and this is what it's gonna sound like so this is a compressor you can really tell what is being compressed and as you can see there's like these little purple marks which shows you what's being compressed and what you want to do is you want to level it out so the high points are about even with these low points so around here is is good for this vocal so i'll play it Stuck out on these again. I roam and I'm rocks. I'm walk back. so yeah uh basically it just levels it out again it's another compressor maximus here is a de-esser um nothing's really touched besides this high and it's set like this so um, these levels are basically stock. I think these are edited. Uh, I edited these a little bit. Um, but yeah, I, I wouldn't really touch that. That's just a normal DS or you can use whatever DS or you want. You can obviously swap these out for whatever, um, plugins you want. You know, some people like to use like fab filter and stuff like that, which is cool. Uh, I just like using these stock plugins cause they're pretty underrated. And yeah, so the reverb I already explained the reverb and the p controller i explained the p controller basically just automates the reverb and this parametric eq at the end this is so you cut out the muddiness from the reverb because the reverb uh it like so the reverb adds frequencies down here in the lows so you want to cut those out and it's just a shelf basically so with the beat on you just want to you know level it out to about what you want Stuck out. I'm using headphones right now, but um, usually I mix with my studio monitors. Um, so this is what you want to do. To have the vocals sit on the beat or, and also cut through the mix, this is what you're going to want to do. So this is what a lot of people look for when they look up mixing tutorials in FL Studios, like how to have the vocals sit on the beat. This is like a secret in the, like, I don't know. But a lot of people don't like to teach this, but I'll teach it. So what you want to do is you want to turn off your reverb and you want to highlight your clip 
just the vocals and this only works in fl studio 20 uh in fl studio 12 you have to render you have to mute everything else and render it out and then drag it back in but you want to hold control alt and press c and what this is going to do is it's going to render out the mixer bus the vocals or whatever into the actual um playlist and you want to deselect enable master effects just in case you have any right there um, so you want to click start and it should be pretty quick because it renders it out as a wave file uh, mp3 files take longer to render out than wave files um, so it's going to be like this it's going to be the levels of you know your mix and stuff and this is going to be disabled so what you want to do is you want to click on this little like audio with an X up here then you want to click shift and you just want to click it and that's going to enable it again and if you play it it's going to sound weird because it's going to be two of the same like audio playing at the same time but you want to go in your main uh, vocal mixer bus and you want to turn on your reverb again um, then you want to double click your uh, signal we're going to call it a signal and double click it and route it to whatever you know track you you want i'm going to track it to three and also you want to select your beat and you want to route it to another track as well i'm going to route it to four and four i'm going to rename it beat and three i'm going to rename it signal so this this right here is your signal this is your beat this is your vocal and so what you want to do with your signal is you want to select the mixer bus and des like unhook it from the master and hook it on and like route it hook it whatever you want to call it to your beat and you want to turn this all the way down so it doesn't play because what we're going to do is we're going to use a multiband compressor to compress the beat but only in the frequencies that your vocals are at so it doesn't actually like you know if your vocals are really high pitched it doesn't compress the the lows you know so we go to beat what you want to do is you want to click any of the slots and you want to load up um, patcher so this is a stock plugin as well um, up here where it says presets on one of the arrows right click and there's going to be a preset called multiband sidechain you want to select that and this is this is a key to having the you know the vocal sit on the beat so you want to click on map because it's going to be on surface you want to click on map and where it says from FL Studio, this little arrow, right click, outputs, audio, and signal. What that's going to do is that's going to add another route to signal in this actual, you know, this compilation of effects. And you want to click and drag this and where it says connect sidechain here. And basically what that's going to do is that's going to allow you to use these knobs. And the only one you really want to use is the sidechain. And without the vocals playing i'll show you what it actually does so i'm gonna open up patcher i'm gonna play the beat and turn down the beat now if you can hear that it basically you know muffles and mutes some of the uh frequencies but not all of them so what you want to do is i'm going to turn the beat back up uh, I like to have it around 25% to about 33%. I'm going to put it right in the middle and I'm going to turn this track back on so you can hear the vocals and it's going to basically make it like mix well. So you could have, in theory, you could have low vocals, uh, that don't cut through the beat. You could add this patcher method and it would cut through the beat and it would sound like it's quote unquote sitting on the beat. So here's what it sounds like. Stuck out on these streets again I roam and I'm kicking rocks I'm gonna walk back home And I told you everything I know So this is without it Stuck out on these streets again and that's with I it. roam and I'm kicking rocks I'm gonna walk back home and I Basically it just adds presence to your vocals It's slight but in a mix Like a, to have a professional sounding mix It really matters You can obviously turn it up or down um, I'm going to turn it up a little bit and you can mess with this release, but it, uh, it's not that important. All you really need to focus on is this side chain and don't mess with the low cut or high cut. Just, uh, leave that as is. Um, 
And yeah, so that's basically the tutorial. Um, it's just this mixer bus. I'll have this, you know, uh, link to the download in the description. This slot one here, I like to use AutoTune effects, and you know, I put it on alter, auto tenor, and a, you know, change the key, retune speed. I like to have it at about twelve for for Jay London. Um, he doesn't really need auto tune too much, so sometimes I put it like twenty something. But um, obviously you want to turn the humanize up a little bit, and but yeah, you know you could use whatever auto tune you want for this. It's a pretty solid uh, mixer bus for FL Studio. Um, I'm not sure if this is this knob is going to be affected, but it's usually turned down a bit. And if it's too low in your mix, you don't necessarily want to turn this up at all. You might want to actually like route this to another track like this and um, add a limiter. Um, but you don't want it to compress at all. So I like to use, uh, yeah. So I'll use Foul Filter Pro L2 and attack you want to turn that down release you basically want to turn that down you just want to turn up this gain and i'll turn this down so yeah it compresses it a little bit um but not too much and uh it's very slow compression so that's what you want to do if it's too low in your mix and you don't really want to turn it above a hundred percent because it starts to clip sometimes and using this limiter method to turn up the um, the vocals it doesn't clip it um, but if it's starting to clip uh, even in your main vocals the slot 10 it's reserved for uh, a soft clipper you just want to open up fruity soft clipper and just leave that there uh, you don't really touch it, it just clips it. It makes it sound like warm and fuzzy when it's clipping and it doesn't really sound distorted as much. Um, it's a good plugin, especially for making beats if you're making beats. But yeah, that's about it. I'll make another tutorial on how to master in FL Studio, make it sound good. Um, for that, you need a few more plugins, mainly just Fruity Fab Filter, not Fruity Fab Filter, just Fab Filter. Uh, and you need ozone and that's about it that's all you really need um mainly just for multi-band compressors and for uh imager if you have uh imagers you could take those concepts and use those for your use those with your own uh plugins so yeah i'll see you guys in the next one peace